Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. Now, one of the things, if you read the New Testament at all, what you realize is that what God is really interested in, in the lives of all of humans, is that our lives be fruitful. I mean, I always think of what Jesus spoke about in John chapter 15, about how he is the vine and his father is the vine dresser. So Jesus is the tree, the trunk, and and, and the father is the gardener. And really what God is interested in is that all the branches bear fruit. And then there's all this discussion that if, if, if one is bearing fruit, then he prunes it, that it might bear more fruit. If one isn't bearing fruit, then you know he lifts it up, he, he helps support it so it can start bearing fruit. But then he says, but if you don't abide in me, Jesus says, then you, you're gonna wither. But if you do abide in me and his words abide in us, you know, then all of a sudden our lives will be fruitful. So what you begin to realize is that for the Lord, it's all about the fruit. Of course, we have things like the fruit of the Spirit. I write about that in my book, Crazy Happy, Nine Surprising Ways to Live the Truly Beautiful Life. And, and we want to see the fruitfulness in our lives. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus says we shouldn't judge people, but we should be able to discern the fruit. We need to be fruit inspectors of people's lives. And so the only way to be able to bear this fruit that is so important to God, it says, by this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit. The only way it happens is if we abide in Jesus. And that means that we stay rooted in Jesus. We get our life and our and our nourishment. And it's the only way to not only survive life, but to thrive in life is really to be rooted in Jesus, to be to be abiding in Him. And that's really the call for each one of us today. Because if you abide in Jesus at some point, the, the fruit gets born in its own time. But if you stay rooted and you abide in Jesus, I'm here to tell you, you will be fruitful, the Father will be glorified, and then that fruit that is born in our life gets to be a blessing to the world because of Jesus. And we want that. So I want you to do this. First, I want you to share this video because we want everyone to be fruitful. And in the comment section, what is some of the fruit that you see that God is wanting to bear, not only in your life, but but in the world around us? You're saying, man, I really want to stay rooted in Jesus so I can bear this because I believe the world needs this kind of nourishment, the fruit that God bears in a transformed life. And we'll be able to, to be encouraged by all that God is wanting to do. And God bless you today.